That came out and, you know, people, well, not talking about that. I'm talking about the, the whole Jumbotron shit popping. That came out and that was clearly a response to a guy that you might not know who this is, but his name is CJ Francis, okay? A guy named CJ Francis has came out. And early in the day, he was trying to expose the fact that he has been a writer for other rappers. Now, it's kind of weird because at first he was like, when it first like started going around the internet, he had said, nah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not like, like I didn't write for nobody. He denied it. Then he started kind of claiming on his Instagram, CJ Francis, uh, N95, let me see. Is it CJ Francis or C Francis? Yeah. And it was this. The real world outside. Take off your idols' heads. That's what I had to do. You already know being idols what happened to you. Take off the sand tray, pay for a day or two. Take off the front flat, take off the suction. So apparently people were thinking that was a demo for N95, which is a song that was on Kendrick Lamar and Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers that came out in 2022. And later the nigga like recanted. He said, yo. I had nothing to do with that song, nor do I have anything to do with it being posted online, okay? Then we saw today, he started posting a bunch of shit like this. Hearing niggas is telling me like you tell Here we go. Put none of this music out, and I'm already hearing niggas is telling Actually, b before I get to Roddy Rich, I'll play the TDE part. I'm just like... This is bad. <laughs> this makes us look really stupid. But anyway, this is what happens when the owner of your label, well, Drake and them don't really care. They straight. You know, their money's coming through with no problems. So mm -hmm. that hasn't been a situation with them. So Drake is, uh. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait to demon up. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. Okay, so essentially, uh, it, it appeared that this guy was almost kind of coming out saying that he did some stuff for TD, so he kind of changed his tone. Then there was another thing that came out with him and um, uh, Roddy Rich, where he played a Roddy Rich voice note, and this is what he played. None of this music out. And I'm already hearing niggas is telling me, like, you telling niggas you writing for me and shit. Like, I don't be like, that ain't really, like, I ain't never had no song wrote for me, nigga. You could check the stats. Like, I don't, that ain't nothing I get down with. Like, I don't be on that. Tubby told me, like, you a cool nigga. We can vibe and maybe figure some shit out and build some shit. But it's like, bro, you making a nigga really look bad. And, like, that ain't really, like, what I be on. Really, to be honest, you feel me? Like, I don't even, you can check all stats. All the biggest songs I ever wrote, nigga, or put out, nigga, they been by myself. You feel me? So it's just like, when it come to this shit, bro, you got to just kind of button it up and tighten it up. I know you got to, you feel me, a, a track record of doing things and being involved in certain shit. Put none of this music out. Okay, and then this is supposedly the record he did. He's damn near OVO producer. So he had posted me. On there, and then he, you'll hear. This is supposedly CJ Francis. They're saying he's not. Okay, so he shows a demo, which is um, Margella Cinderella. You would think the niggas wish me better, uh huh? I put Cinderella and Margella, uh huh? I'm sorry, girl, I'm still a big forgetter, uh huh? She love me, but we know we're not together, uh huh? I gave 50 bands to the teller, uh huh? I'm jumping on the plane to switch the weather, uh huh? Now, if you go on YouTube, there's actually a record by um, Roddy Rich called Margella 
Cinderella. It never got put out officially, but there is a record that exists. I put 30 clip on my Beretta, uh-huh. You would think they all wish me better, uh-huh. I put Cinderella in my Jello, uh-huh. I'm sorry. Shorty Demick says Kendrick confirmed in the studio right now. Nigga, we don't even know if that nigga got Wi-Fi, nigga. Or electricity, man. Kendrick probably somewhere in Ghana walking around barefoot, nigga. Soul searching, thinking he like Muhammad Ali when he went back to Africa, nigga. We don't know what that nigga's doing, gang. Okay? We don't even know if he heard the record, nigga. He don't tweet. He don't say nothing. He don't do nothing, bro. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm sorry. All right, baby, I'm a big forgetter. Huh? Okay. Anyway, uh, the record never came out. Now, I, I spoke with Roddy Rich today, and, and Roddy Rich was like, listen, man. I don't know what's going on with this Kendrick and Drake shit, but I want to keep, like, why Why y'all say fuck me for? Like, basically that, saying, what the hell I got to do with any of this shit? Now, I explained to him how this came about, and I think what happened, this writer, right, or alleged writer, posted up this shit with Roddy Rich to give credibility because some people were saying, well, it's like, the, which one came first? Did you do the reference after Kendrick shit came out and you're claiming it? Because you don't ha seem to have any ties to Kendrick. The phone call that people thought was with a uh, TD executive wasn't that. So it's like, how do we know you're telling the truth? So he posted up him and Roddy Rich to make it seem like, bro, I got some credibility. Anyway, that conversation, if you listen to it. And I'm already hearing niggas is telling me, like, you telling niggas you writing for me and shit, like... I don't be like, that ain't really, like, I ain't never had no song wrote for me, nigga. You could check the stats. Like, I don't, that ain't nothing I get down with. Like, I don't be on that. Tubby told me, like, you a cool nigga. We can vibe and maybe figure some shit out and build some shit. But it's like, bro, you making a nigga really look bad. And, like, that ain't really, like, what I be on, really, to be honest. You feel me? Like, I don't even, you can check all stats. All the biggest songs I ever wrote, nigga, or put out, nigga, they've been by myself. You feel me? So it's just like, when it come to this shit, bro, you got to just kind of button it up and tighten it up. I know you got to, you feel me, a, a track record of doing things and being involved in certain shit. Put none of this music out. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, what I will say, so... If you listen to the context of the conversation, Roddy's actually mad at the guy for even claiming he wrote for him. He's like, y'all never, nobody's ever really wrote for me. What are you talking about? Now, I talked to Roddy today. He kind of clarified it for me. And he said, yo, act, check this out. He said, when I was creating Feed the Streets 3, and he says, everybody knows, and he admitted to me today on the phone. He said, act, listen, obviously, you know, a lot of even my career and the ups and downs, some of it's my fault, you know, ego this and third. But when I was making Feed the Streets 3, I was trying to find new sounds. Sometimes you got a sound already that's popping. When it works, it works. When you feel like you need to reinvent, you need to somehow try to get a new sound or try to try out new things. He said, hey, I was open to collaborate with people to try to get some new inspiration, trying to get a new pocket that I could really, you know what I mean, kill these niggas with. You know, Feed the Streets 3 was supposed to be that. He said, I was introduced to certain people who had different sounds that they felt could help in like, you know what I mean? Put me in that type of mode. And he said, also, here's the thing too. If he says, bro, I'm not like them. I'm not like Drake and Kendrick. Okay. If a nigga did write a track for me, I don't care. I'll just fucking say it. I don't give a fuck. Right. He, but he said, this is a context. He said, this guy, they basically start sending ideas back, back and forth. And what happens is after the first idea homie sends, right? You know, um, Roddy actually he he tries to record to it and catch it. He didn't really feel it. They obviously didn't end up using the track. But as soon as Roddy recorded it, even though he didn't use it, the dude started going around. I think he's from Atlanta. Which, by the way, why all the Ghost Riders keep coming from Atlanta, right? He was going around Atlanta saying, "Yo, yo, yo, y'all know, y'all know, I've been writing for, yeah, I've been writing for Roddy Rich, right?" That gets back to Roddy, and Roddy was like, "Yo, bro, like, what do you mean you're writing for me, like, dog? First of all, I've never used anything you ever sent me, and like, maybe you're trying to use that to kind of like forward your career, but, bro, why are you going around telling people you're you're my writer?" 
You get what I'm saying? So that's what that conversation was. Uh, he said he never met the guy, um, talked to him like a few times on the phone, and none of his music that the guy, you know, was sending over, trying to like whatever, has ever made it out on an official release. Actually, actually, <clears throat> let me see. We could go one step further than that because Roddy was so perturbed and so upset. Roddy made sure he, um, he said he sent me a full recording of the conversation. I don't know if it's an old conversation or a new one because he was trying to get up with that nigga today. He, he's not playing about his, his credibility, especially he feels like every, he feels like these things about ghostwriter that's happening today. It's, it's not really about him. That's Drake people in, not saying he's blaming either one, but that's people trying to influence this Drake versus Kendrick thing, right? So they're just, he's just would be a casualty of war. So he's like, what the fuck? I got to do with all this shit. Yo. Yeah? Yeah, what's up? Bro, why are you lying, bro? Ooh. Lying, bro? Okay, so, oh shit, this is, I guess this is a conversation today. And by the way, there's no edits, no none. I haven't even heard it yet. But Roddy sent it to me, and Roddy said, bro, I want to make sure you have it because I'm not playing about my reputation. And I respect it. Because, listen, when, when a nigga, when we're living in the era of every, are you, are y'all noticing more and more women want to expose men? Like, everything, like, look what it is to my boy Kai. Look what happened. Oh, that's, it feels like lying, trying to extort people, capitalizing on someone else's name for your come up is what's going on. And um, I, I, I do respect when somebody cares about their integrity enough to say, nah, fuck that. Let me clarify what the fuck. Nah, uh, you ain't going to allow me. So this is Roddy Rich clarifying. Lying, bro. Here we go. Lying, bro. Sorry. Yo. Yeah? Yeah, what's up? Bro, why you lying, bro? Lying about what? Why are you lying, bro? Lying about what? Nigga, why are we playing stupid? Answer the question. You said something, I responded. What are you talking about? Calm down, first of all. I ain't raising my voice at you. I'm saying, why are you lying? And I'm responding to you. What are you referring to? Nigga, the shit what you got I on your story about? that you that you wrote, you writing songs for me, you wish it was different, bro. I... Did I say that? Did I say that? Yes, on nigga. Or... Yes, yes, yes. Nah, you tripping, bro. Hey, I know these tricks so well with people who want attention. Oh, I put this out. I know people, I, I'm not an idiot. I know they're going to interpret it as this. But did I say that? I didn't tell them to think... Nigga, you know what you're fucking doing. If you put out, like, it, 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 it's like, it's like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to use none of my personal shit, but it's like, you put out certain shit, an obvious non-dummy is going to be like, oh, you're trying to tell us that, right? But you didn't put a caption that said, oh, this is what I'm telling you. So when people assume, and then I confront you, why you, why you doing that weird shit? What weird shit? Nigga, you know what you did? Well, I didn't say it directly. I just posted up some shit, which, like, they made up their own. Stop. Pl you're playing games. You're playing games now. You're playing games, sir. Referring to Nigga, the shit you got I on your story about? that you that you wrote, you writing songs for me, you wish it was different, bro. I did I say that? Did I say that? Yes, on nigga. Story? Yes, yes, yes. Nah, you tripping, bro. You tripping. Bro, I just had a 45-minute conversation with academics, bro. I don't even know him. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you, you playing with a nigga. I don't, even, I don't even know you, my nigga. I don't even know you. And I, and I told you earlier, two years ago, I told you. I don't fuck with niggas like that. I don't even get down like this. This ain't even my get down. My managers put me with certain niggas to figure out, you know, just catch a vibe woo -woo, on some just regular nigga shit. Facts. And that's the so only what are thing you I'm doing? Why are you? But why are you what's putting my name into your scandal, bro? I'm. Not, I don't have Nobody nothing to do with name. what you got going on, my nigga. Look, 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 bro. Factuals. 
we got to be honest, Roddy is spitting. Here's why. This motherfucker, he's being used or he's purporting himself as he has business with TDE. He's either written for, created with, collaborated with Kendrick. But nobody believes him. Why? Because everybody loves Kendrick, and nobody could think that anybody could write even a word or put a period on Kendrick's uh, Kendrick words. So you know what he does? He brings motherfucking Roddy Rich into it. Be like, well, if y'all don't believe that, look, here's more of my credibility. Look, I look, I have some voice notes from 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 um uh, Roddy Rich that shows that I really am in this shit. Look, 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 look. real calm. Everything you just said. Is the only thing I said, and on top of that, out of respect for you, I took it down. It ain't. Bro, that's not respect for me, my nigga. You used my name before you ever had a conversation with me, bro. Yo, this is crazy. You don't know me, nigga. <laughs> so how could you even feel comfortable to even put me into what the fuck you got going on, my nigga? Look, I wasn't trying to put you in nothing. It's down. I don't know what the issue is. I'm telling you what the issue is, bro. You, 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 you got my name all over the internet. Talk about I got ghostwriters and niggas wrote my songs, nigga. I take pride in my pen, nigga. Ain't no nigga wrote no song for me, all, nigga. Okay, I take I'm pride talking. in my shit, nigga. You can ask Quentin Miller, nigga. You can ask whoever the fuck you wanna ask, bro. It, Wait, I don't, my turn? nigga. Yo, yo, shout to hey, hey. This how you stand on business, okay? Not run into a rat hole. No. Which nigga is saying something that's not true? Niggas ain't, niggas ain't wrote for me. Nigga, I'm getting, my, I'm getting it off. I'm telling you what's up, nigga. All right, I'm going to let you live. Just let me know when I can speak. I'm telling you. I, I, I said what I said. Okay, so is it my turn? Bro, can we stop acting like children, bro, and just, you know, <laughs> yeah, have a conversation? Exactly. I can say what I need to say, my nigga. Okay, so you said what you said. You had to say, I feel that, I respect that. It's down. That's the end of it. That's not the but, end of it, but, nigga. But, I, I, but, that ain't the end of it, because I don't, I don't, I don't respect finish, that, bro. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. When I posted it, I was going off some other shit that was going on. I ain't post nothing about putting your name in it, saying I did anything. I post exactly what you said. Okay, if you feel like that was disrespectful or whatever, okay, I respect that. It's gone. It's down. But ain't nobody trying to disrespect you. I ain't say. I ain't Bro, you do know. You do know. You do know that I sold fifty million records, right? You know that, right? Flex on that. So the fact that you putting a conversation on the internet, nigga, about my catalog, about my my publishing, my writing, how I how I do my business, that's disrespectful to my entity, my nigga. What did I say? What did I what did I say that you upset about? Brian will lie, this thing is playing crazy dumb. <laughs> yo, this is like, yo, what do I do? What do I do? Like, I just posted something. Like, oh, what do I do? Like, <laughs> motherfucker, you, don't you realize that if, it, yo, it, it's, it, it's like you over here trying to expose somebody for having, I don't know, AIDS, and then you over here, you post up a test with my name on it. Even if it don't show the results, niggas is going to think that maybe I got the shit. Even if you then take it down, niggas might be like, well, did he got the shit or not? What the fuck? What like what's so hard to fucking understand? If you're talking about A and then you put my name in the midst of A, even if you delete it, nigga, people are gonna think that maybe I, I'm doing the same thing with A. Nigga, let me give you another example. It's like you saying, man, these niggas in the industry, they're like Diddy. Something about Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Then you say, academics be on, and then you delete. What, nigga, what the fuck my name come up in that shit for? Yes, it's disrespectful. This thing is acting dumb. And then I can address that. Bro, right niggas now is going to get at you, homie, because you playing games, my nigga. And I'm not the one, bro. You know, I, bro, I don't kick it with niggas. You don't see me in no pictures with niggas. Bro, this is the reason. Because I don't fuck with that. you niggas, bro. All, I don't fuck all. with you niggas, bro. Y'all niggas, man, you niggas. Man, I ain't from that world you from, bro. I'm telling you right now, nigga. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. With all due respect, bro, no disrespect, but you don't know where I'm from. Bro, I don't give a so fuck like, where you from. That's what I'm saying. I'm from Park Village, Compton. I don't, this ain't my world, bro. I make music and I stay to myself, bro. I take care of my okay, family, bro. Right, I don't, like, let's, let's you not, plan, let's, my nigga. You really plan, hold bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My headphones just went out. Look, 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 bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This nigga he's talking to is doing the gaslight of hell. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> 
what you saying? Man, what you nigga, saying? you playing, bro. Let's not get bro. disrespectful, though. Let's not get disrespectful, though. I ain't... Bro, you playing at an all-time high, bro, and I don't respect right, look, that, look, my nigga. Look, look, bro, look, I just explained what was going on. I ain't, let's not get disrespectful, though. Bro, you can't tell me how to feel about what you did to me, my nigga. That's straight up. I'm That's just regular you shit, feel. nigga. I'm not telling you how to You can't feel. tell me how to respond, bro. You the one that did it. I didn't do this to okay, you. Okay, but look, 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 bro. I'm, all I'm saying is... Let's speak like how we would speak if we were standing in front of each other. Let's talk like this. Nigga, Man, I'm, a, a, I'm a, a, bro, check this out, bro. You've never met me in person, so you don't know how I would speak to you. I'm speaking to you with, with the utmost respect. I'm sitting, I'm, 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 I'm calm. I don't have my conversations to understand what's going on, but you're not about to play with me, though, bro. That's just not, we can't do that. We can't play like you ain't just do this whole shit and niggas is calling, blowing my phone up. I'm waking up out the bed with my pregnant girlfriend. You tripping, dude. Okay, so can I respond without, that's what I'm saying. I ain't trying to go back and forth on, no, like, just yell. If we really trying to get to the bottom of this shit, I'm not trying to go back and forth with the yelling shit. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. So, what I'm saying is, I posted this shit, niggas are hitting me to do shit, I posted this shit, if you feel like, alright, I took it down, that's that's the end of it, I, I ain't post, oh, I'm writing for, even when you first hit me with this shit, even when you first hit me with this shit, it was never about, when you hit me with like, yo, niggas are telling me you writing for me, I've never, on my daughter's life, nigga, I've never said I've written for anybody. It's always been I'm working with whatever. How niggas tell it to you, bro? Working, writing, whatever. You but telling that's what people? I'm saying, though, you're not even letting me speak, bro. Say what you gotta to say, be bro. To you. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get. I gotta give some credit to uh, Roddy Rich. His patience when people are playing with your livelihood and integrity. And your whole character, and basically also gaslighting in front of your face, it, it, his patience is for a rapper it is is actually astounding. Rappers, I usually tell y'all, are the most ignorant, short-tempered, um, ill-mannered people in the world. And he's kind of like trying to hear this guy out, who basically has now given him a bad day of press because he threw his name into some shit that got nothing to do with him. What you I'm not say. trying to be disrespectful to you. And even anytime I posted this shit, I ain't never been like, oh, yeah, look what I'm doing for blah, blah, Now, I understand. Look, look, let me finish. Let me land. If, if niggas are telling you, yo. Yo, this is one of them Twitter spaces, nigga. One mic. Let me land. Like, nigga, you ain't flying a fucking plane, nigga. Hurry up and get the shit off your fucking chest. You play with my name, nigga. This is one of them little Twitter niggas, man. You got to use them little buzzwords. Let me land. Come on, shut up, nigga. This is how we took it. Okay, bet. I'll respect that and be like, bet. Don't move like that again. I understand that. But to hit me and be like, yo, you doing this on purpose? Come on, bro. That ain't that ain't never been it. Even when even when Tubby hit you or uh, introduced me to you, rather, it was never like, yo, can I, can I, can I write for Roddy, blah, blah. Nigga, you wanna you you go crazy, nigga. You you one of my favorite artists for sure. But I've never hit nobody on some let's do this, that, and the third. But look, if niggas ask me to do this, that, and the third, I get whatever. I'm posting the shit. I'm not even posting shit saying anything extra. I'm posting exactly what it was. Now, if you're saying why are you posting a voice note with me and you, where niggas are taking it a certain way, that. Won't do that. Got you. Nah, but to call me and act like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But to call me and act like I'm disrespecting you on purpose, like I said, yo, I'm ready for Roddy. That's that's absurd. Does that make any sense? This nigga I hear what you said, but that ain't gonna fly, my nigga. Cause we men, we men, we know how this world work. Why are you putting my private conversations on the internet? And we've never even okay. had a conversation past that conversation. After I heard that you was even doing that shit, I stopped fucking with you all together, bro. All together. Never right. to hit you again. Never to talk to you again. Because that's lame to me, my nigga. That's lame. We figuring it out. I'm all for it. And, and, and that's the thing, too. Like, you, you, you having conversations with niggas. Oh, man, I wish it was different. Like, bro, you don't even know me, my nigga. 
You don't even know me, my nigga. I'm the coolest nigga around. I don't kick it with niggas. I kick it with my family. So I know I'm rooted and grounded in some right shit. I'm not on none of that soulless, moving around, bullshit. When I seen this shit was just a little too, I step back and I take a look at myself in the mirror. I know I can respect myself and I can respect what's going on around me. So that's how I move. But trying to trying to trying to trying to depict it to where it's like, oh, I didn't know, and I, nah, nigga, no, nigga, no, nigga, no, 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 nigga. no, no, yes, like, no, no, no I'll sir. Agree, I'll agree. I'll agree. I'll agree. You that cut me off look, though. That's what I'm saying. You cut me off when I'm talking. Look, though. look bro. Anytime I start to speak, you start to cut me off too, as bro, well. Bro, you right? acting like one of like, come on, dude. I let you <laughs> say the whole <laughs> spiel you that. said, don't bro. I let you say the whole thing you needed to say. I let you say everything you needed to say. I'm gonna let you land, my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> this is where I'm having a conflict, right? Because I'm a public figure. You know what I mean? Like, unlike, you know, you 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 move around in the industry. I'm a public figure. Anything I do, anything I say, I can move my hand one way, trip and fall, nigga. It's gonna be a million motherfuckers that have something to say about that. You you right. you you have the luxury of having your privacy because you're not in the public eye, right? So if somebody has a defamating statement or a situation that could defamate my character or anything like that, I have a problem oh, with that. Can I ask you a question? Why do you think that's a, def a defamation of your character? Because I don't have writers, bro. If I did, I wouldn't have a well, problem with it. If you worked on something, what's the issue? Bro, if I had writers, I wouldn't have a problem. If you wrote songs for me, I wouldn't have a problem. But you didn't. And the well, world look, thinks you did. did. Listen, you know? listen. And the world thinks you did. So we need to clear that up. Are you done? <laughs> Yo, this nigga. <laughs> Man, stop. Yo, this nigga is playing. No, this nigga is playing. <laughs> Are you done? Nah, this nigga is playing. Nah, this nigga is playing. Nah, this nigga is playing. Yo, Roddy's patience is crazy. Can I speak or what? Stop playing with me, man. You can say no. I mean, whatever you... I mean, it's Stop up to you. Stop playing I'm just with saying. me, man. We need to clear this up. That's what I'm saying. We need to clear this up. <laughs> okay, so how do you want to do that? I feel like you need to figure that out, bro. Because this is this is this is something that you brought on yourself. I didn't ask you. To, that's upset, so I, I, bro, I didn't ask you to bring me into your scandal, your conversation, bro. You brought me up, so I feel like you need to apologize or make this shit clear that you never wrote for me, bro. None of my songs was ever written by you. We did work together, but nothing ever came into fruition of That's that, nigga. The only thing I posted, though, Roddy. Bro, listen to what I'm telling you. Are you? The only thing I posted, I ain't go out there and say, yo, everything that nigga did, I did. Bro, are you, you listening bro? to what I'm saying, bro? People are taking it and making their own narrative. But guess where it came from? You planted okay, that seed, bro. You planted that seed. I didn't wake up and, and bring your name up, nigga. I didn't. You you did this. Okay, so look, look in, in your ideal world, apologize for what? Because the only thing I posted is the Marzella reference that you did that I wrote. So what do you want me to it do? It never came out. Why it did it never come out? out? Are you a part of my catalog? Have you written any songs in my catalog, bro? Never. Okay, so why are we? Why am I in your conversation about whatever situation you have going on? Why me? Why you didn't use, use the next nigga or the niggas you fuck with? Whoever, whoever that might be, whoever that might be, bro. Because you felt like you could play with me. That's why. Bro, bro, I posted multiple things. Ain't nobody trying to play with you. Yo, Man. this nigga's blamed. Yo, this nigga's blamed. I feel like you brought this into this world, so I would appreciate it if okay, you but could Roddy, listen, figure listen, this out, respect, homie. With all due respect, with all the things I have going on right now, as talented as the artist of you are, if you were in my position, why would you mention Roddy Rich and not mention Drake? Kendrick? That's the reason why niggas was coming around, bro. Listen to what I'm Roddy saying, Rich. bro. I. I this nigga sound like he's trying to get Roddy to say some crazy shit. Look, I get all that. You got my name in this shit, bro. Can we clear this shit up to where it's, we never done no business officially? I don't write. I have no nothing to do with this man's catalog. 
None of this. I need. I, 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 need I need you to apologize to a nigga I'm trying, for that. I'm trying to make you. I'm trying to make you fulfilled. So tell me exactly what you want me to say. No, I'm not gonna tell you exactly. Yo, you. See, yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. This thing's a gaslighter, bro. Tell me what I want you to say, cause I needed to come from you. I need you to genuinely want to, nigga. Erase this shit because it's not true. That's that's what it's all. It's erased already. So my my. No 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 no. Then he says erased. Like yeah, I tweet all the story. Who cares? Yo, this guy is crazy. Nah, it, you know, just like I know, in the world of the internet, once it's posted, nigga, it's it's everywhere. So what do you want me to do at that point? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yo, this nigga acting like yo, this nigga acting like Roddy Rich is a SoundCloud rapper and he's the A list rapper. Yeah, so I don't. I, what do you want me to do now? Just like you took it upon yourself to put me into your shit, I need to fit. We need to figure out how you're going to take me out of it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and I'm asking for your. Oh, I mean, you a man, right? right? You know how to solve problems. That's what men do. I feel like we need to figure out how to solve that problem. I didn't bring this to you. You brought this to me. But the thing is, you got a problem. I don't got a problem. If I had a problem as a man, I would handle it. But I don't. I, you have a problem, so I'm, I'm asking as with respect All right, bro. to you. All right, bro. Listen, I see where this is at. Nah, it's cool. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you, bro. I'm going to see you, bro. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. I'm going to see you, bro. I'm going I'm to end the conversation there, bro, because we just acting stupid at this point. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. I'm trying to get to where you want me to what you want me to do? I'm telling you what I, you need to figure out how to take me out of this situation, bro. However that is, you put me in it, take me out, bro. That's that's what I'm asking okay, of so you. Okay, so you'll be happy with whatever I figure out, right? Because you're not telling me exactly what to do. Bro, you acting like a child, bro. We are men. You know what the fuck I'm saying, bro. I'm not about to tell you exactly what bro, to say, up, bro. You need up, to figure it up. out, nigga. Who the fuck, man? Hey, all right. I'm going to see you, bro. I'm going to see you. Stop playing with niggas, man. <laughs> Stop playing with niggas, yo. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, chat. Rate that gaslight from that dude on, on, on the scale of like 0 to 10. Yo, that dude gaslit him so much. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> yo, that was crazy. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. Hey, for the record... And, and, and also, you know, I had my conversation with Roddy because I do know the role I am playing in so many eyes and ears and, you know, people who are relying on this platform for all truth. And I want to be rooted only in truth. OK, um, because I even posted that and I got clarification from Roddy and I took it down, I sent out a tweet afterwards. Roddy does not have a ghostwriter. That guy is not a, his ghostwriter. He's a complete fraud. And when I'm saying he's a complete fraud, I'm not saying they haven't worked together, but when we know the conversation at hand is of the utmost importance, did you write for this guy in his catalog? I'm pretty sure if you if you found out that maybe the box, die young, every season. A few others, balling, was written by somebody else. You would look at Roddy a little bit different. You would say, damn, I thought I was you, brother. Like, damn, I thought the genius in those records were you. Again, Roddy don't have a writer, and it's actually fucked up that this guy who, you know, he has a, he's had an association with Roddy would purport that, that the media, i.e. people like me and blogs like me and others, picked it up because, you know, obviously I'm, I, I don't want to do irreparable damage to anybody's career i want to keep it grounded in truth here okay um okay okay you know and, and, and for me also handling it this way and doing it on the stream and very clarifying and even showing you this motherfucker lying and gaslighting is is is, is my uh way of trying to make the apology or or the correction as loud as the the initial thing because people will see that initial thing they'll, they'll see be like yo roddy blah blah they never see the other stuff so okay all right roddy love to you brother um i'm pretty sure we'll do some shit um soon roddy got some new music cooking up i, I, I can't tell you when but uh me and him, we had some good we had, we had a good conversation promising shit coming on uh good music what, what, one thing i'll say about him is that he's super self-aware i didn't get I didn't get 
delusional. I didn't get someone who was just like he didn't know what the fuck was going on, or he's like, nah, I'm not. I'm the, like he understands the feedback that he's gotten. He understands the criticism, and he's not even in the place of saying it's unfair or whatever. He's trying to just because he loves music. All right, we'll we'll get to that another time. But let's get Roddy Rich out of this situation. We're back focused on Rick Ross, Drake. Kendrick Lamar, Metro Boomin, and others. Now, uh, somebody said they gotta pay me for this extensive PR. No, I'm already getting. I'm 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 getting paid by the the, the people who come here. It's it's okay. No, it, like again, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. Also, I think people also think I'm like super heartless. I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. If, if a nigga don't got ghostwriters, I don't want you to think he got ghostwriters. You know what I mean? Like again, I want to keep it fair because I I I know when people, you know. One of these, you remember when I was going through the little bad PR like earlier in the year, one of these blogs put out an incorrect narrative. It was like, remember that there was a video of like me walking in the room and you heard like a scream and they were like, oh, that's a scream of so-and-so going on, which was completely false. I clarified to that blog, like they, I showed them all the proof that it was irrefutable proof that that's just not what was going on, that it's completely fake. And that blog refused to even post a retraction like you know what i mean they were just like well that's what we thought at the time and i was like okay now you have more information could you correct it right and it's one of these blogs that affected like women and the blog reviews you know what i mean and i'm like damn so so you have no problem with you know uh i'll tell you his blog was it's on site like like they literally put up some and I, and I have the whole message with them i said damn it was an instagram blog i'm like so y'all will make people think that i did a b and c and d and when I clarify it, you won't even try to give an attempt at making, it doesn't even have to be an apology, but the clarification should be just as loud or, or, or should have just as much effort. They were just like, uh, and I'm like, yo, that's where you realize, you know, not all media is created alike, just to let you guys know. All right. Anyway, uh, 